All right, so here we are in the Flex resource collections area. These are our most powerful um, collections in Flex, um, drawing on huge databases. Um, the bottom two here, web phrases and web collocations, um, are derived from Google web data, and um, learning collocations, we'll just go in here now and take a look, um, is based on three different corpora. So we've got um, the British National Corpus as the default corpus here, um, 100 million words of British English, and we've got the very specific um, learner writing corpus, um, the British Academic Written English corpus, but here is the largest, the Contemporary English Wikipedia corpus, um, based on two million articles from within Wikipedia. So I'm just going to type in this word law and uh, demonstrate to you how this works. Um, what you'll find immediately in this very powerful collection called Learning Collocations is a lot of linked in data sources. So we've got, you know, um, natural language processing tools behind the scenes arranging all of the collocations that go with law into part of speech. So law plus noun, adjective plus law, um, use strictly as an adjective, so law office history. Um, and then we've got related words being pulled in from Wikipedia using our Wikipedia mining tool, open source system. So we've got words like legal, system, legislature, judge, constitutional, and you can um, keep scrolling along. So these are the words that co-occur. So when people talk about law, they talk about frameworks, they talk about state, convention, rigid, supreme, ownership, subject, supranational. And it's these related words in flex that give you a, a wider sense of the collocations around the term law. So this is great for students who want to expand their lexical range and when they're writing or speaking on the topic of law um, they'll know that it's also good to talk about the legal system, legal subjects, legal dispute or civil society, property law, piece of property um, and so on. So I've tried this with my students and this is a really great way to stop that repetition of key terms and so on. And then we've got um, a simple definition here, which is um, being pulled in from Wiktionary, and then related topics in Wikipedia. So, you know, the common law is obviously um, a key term. You know, what is the difference between civil procedure and common law procedure, uh, tort, jurisdiction? Um, so as you hover over the terms, um, the FLAX system populates to pull you into the system. So of course you can click on these terms and, and that will take you to how citizenship collocates within this collection as well. So let's just go back to law. And um, so you'll notice that within this corpus, within this collection, there are 6,722 examples of law firm. And if you click on the collocation, it will bring uh, different collocations around law firms. So here we've got family law firm. Let's just click on that. And it will bring all of the um, language and context around that collocation, family law firm. So you just get a, a much clearer idea about how this collocation is being used. So we'll just click out of there. Also, um, at the top here, we have um, family words or derivatives. So we've got laws, lawyer, lawyers, lawful, unlawful. And all of these are hyperlinked as well. So unlawful assembly, that's a very nice collocation. Unlawful use. Um, so, and, and here we have synonyms, okay, improper, unconventional, antonyms, regular, lawful, law-abiding, observant licit, legitimate, legal. So this gives you a pretty good, good idea about how the FLAX system works. If you are interested in saving some of the search terms, you can click on this little 
cherry icon and a pop-up window appears for you to add collocations. Okay, unlawful possession. Okay, quite interested in, in that one too. Let's just go back to law, and maybe add law degree. Okay, and you'll see up here that you have what's called a cherry basket um, for you to store the cherry picked collocations from the collection. And that will be flashing to indicate that you have phrases, collocations within your cherry basket. Okay, that's just going to pull examples from the collection so you can review those later on. You can print them out, you can save this page as a web page as you please. All right, so that, um, that introduces us to the main features of the Learning Collocations collection.